Well, looks like this is our turn here. We're getting ready for work this morning. Get pulled in here with these boys. All right, we're running the Mac today. Let's see who I'm coming up next to here. Ah. Hey, Billy Bob, hey. what's up, man? It's been a while. It has been. What's going on, Pork Chop? How you been? Pretty good. You got a nice Peterbilt here, huh? I do, I do. Oh, but I, le I, I left my blinker on. Rookie mistake here. Oh, uh, come on, man. Don't drain the max battery. I like this thing. When you get this? Well, I got it restored here just a little bit ago, but uh, it looks like you need restored. Holy cow, man. You lost your hair. What do you mean? It's there. <laughs> There ain't nothing on there. It's shinier than a shinier than your front bumper. You do got a nice low pro bumper right here, though. That's not. Nice. Hey, I'm not hiding it with a hat, I must say. But anyways. That's true. Yeah, that's this, true. This oh, I see. Around. I see what you're saying there, Billy Bob. You're, uh huh. I see you what you're go. saying. But yeah, pork chop, you're a little slow. Anyway, guys, today we're gonna be doing something uh, pretty crazy. We have a huge like this is meant for like literally like mining. I guess not gold. Well, yeah, probably mining gold, but actual like mining. It has a huge bucket on there. And then we're gonna try the in-game cat, a modded Peterbilt 389, and then a Western Star 49X. So the Western Star maybe has a little uh, advantage with the triple axles. There we go, Garrett's firing up the Peterbilt. Sounds nice, man. Yes, sir. So these are the Demco side dumps. These are in-game mod if you didn't know and they they're awesome now this is what one bucket in the cat does to the trailer it's 19,000 liters and right now we have five of these hooked up we might need to add more it, it, it's tough because it becomes a huge strain and, and we'll kind of see well, pretty much what we're gonna do is fill all these up with salt the huge pile of salt and then we're gonna see the trucks can pull them and then we're gonna go up a big hill if, if they can pull them on the flat ground which i think they will we're gonna make a huge hill and then see if it can go up it so let's get to it we gotta fill up those trailers and then we gotta test them out garrett are you running the cat who's garrett i'm oh billy bob oh billy bob uh yep yeah, jump in the cat wheel loader i'll jump in uh i'll tell you what, i'll jump in the mac and get the get the dump get them pulled up here along the fire station all right have you ever cared to load that big no no i haven't but I just got to go a few feet. All right. Well, see what you can do, man. But if you guys already didn't know, whenever I'm trucking and farm sim, I got I got to run my... This is my pork chop outfit, let's just say. Back her in. Nice. There she is. So let's get taken off here. That's already some weight. This is a big, big train. I think... I don't think we'd add any more trailers than this. Let's get pulled up here. I do have manual transmission on. Unfortunately, in the Peterbilt, there is no manual transmission. But in the Western Star, there is. So, Garrett, I'm coming up next to you, man. All right. I have a bucket load ready to dump. Let's get going. I'm just going to be alongside the road for now. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. If you were to turn in here, I don't think you'd be able to pull back out. Yes, sir. Here we go. First load. Yeah, so watch this, guys. It's really cool. Yeah, Garrett, load it down. Here, I'm gonna... That's not safe, but anyway, drop it. I'll show you this. All the right. trailers actually squat, if that makes sense. There she goes. Is that all? A uh, little bit more. Okay, maybe it doesn't do it after we already had some salt in there, but when I first dumped it in, you could see the airbags kind of filling up and adjusting, so that's pretty cool. Well, this, this is pretty cool sitting in the cab here on this big cat. There we go. Garrett, go ahead, pull forward just a bit more here. Okay, I'm trying to. This thing's heavy. Yeah, it, I, 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 I'm, I'm curious how much this all weighs. I think we should be able to see weight, but I'm going to... You, if you, You're good. Hold right there. There we go. Here. Perfect. I'm dumping. There it is. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the trailer actually moves. So when you guys are doing this yourself or loading anything, what I like a lot about FS42 is that it act, there's like weight sensitive. So I think testing this out and loading these trailers, FS22 is going to give us a lot different result than, uh, than past farming simulators. Yeah. I love that everything has like actual weight and like you can feel it when you drive and you can visually see it too. Exactly. Really cool. How many how many buckets filled up a trailer? Oh, that's a good question. I you had you put say, two in? Yeah, I think there's Okay, and I already two. put one in prior, so in two yeah, in uh two in like three quarters or something. Yeah, around there. How much do you have in so far? Well uh it says nineteen thousand liters a bucket. There okay, it maxes out, so alright, next okay. one here. Alright. Pulling forward. There we are. But this is uh what I guess we I mean, we're just using the salt for a test, but I mean, we could use it for the city for salt in the roads in the winter too. Well, we definitely could. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of salt with this, so 
Well, there we are. We got the five loaded. They got wheel loader. Literally, that was so nice. That came in handy. Billy Bob, what I'm thinking is we'll, we'll take the we'll test the Mac out first. That's the lowest horsepower one, I think. Peterbilt sitting at 600, and then the Western Star somewhere around 600 too. But anyway, let's test out the Mac. It's manual transmission. I'll keep it a manual transmission so we go as realistic as possible. All right, she's fired up. She's warmed up. Let's try. It. Let's try first gear. So five trailers, each one. What I should look at. So road salt, 30,000 liters. I don't know how much that would weigh, but you guys can do, if you guys have some conversion that you can do, there's five trailers, 150,000 liters. All right, here we go. First gear, take it off. Oh, you're moving. I'm fitted. Wheels are slowly moving. All right, I'm shifted up. I might be doing a bird out here. Okay, it looks like shifting into second gear. I'm starting to crawl backwards. There is a little grade uphill, which is probably really good for our test. Oh yeah. Shift really? I shifted to third. Oh, there you go. Now you're rolling. Shifted to fourth. Come on, can we make it to the gas station? Six. We're going to eight um, mile an hour. We're revving we're around now. Seven. There you go. Come on. You've almost cleared where the salt is. <laughs> there you are. All right. Well, the Mac did it. I don't want to run too far down the road and change the uh, the grade of the road. But let's. Uh, I got our neutral. Garrett, why don't you go ahead pull up? Uh, pull up, Peter. Peter built. Good old Peter. Yes, All right. Sir. We'll get I'll detached there, that. and there we go. So, I'll just put this off on the side, and we'll do. We'll, we'll see what the Peter boat can do. And one thing I'm also curious is if we go into a field with this, is it gonna change with like traction and all that stuff? Go ahead, Garrett. You can get her backed up. I'll get you attached yep. here. All right, here we go. There you go. Nice. Perfect. That looks. Right. That looks good. You wanna drive this thing? Yeah. I'll go ahead and jump in. This is. So this is the modded Peter boat truck. You guys won't see this in game. Uh, on console, but this is a pretty cool truck. The interior is nice. That's what's really nice about a lot of these mods that are coming in. Really cool. So, CB radio interior is awesome. Here we go, Garrett. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking Low about. and slow. Yeah, that's like, it's like nothing's back there, brother. Oh, I'll tell you, there's definitely something back there. So that's pretty cool. Let's see exactly. I upgraded the engine. Let's see what horsepower we're at. So we're sitting at 460 horsepower, and then the Western Star is like 610. So I'm curious. The Western Star should be able to pull this. And I think next up, we're going to make some sort of like big hill thing and just ramp them up there. I've by, by far, the max the weakest. But Garrett, you pulling around the Western Star? Oh, this is definitely going to do a good job. Yeah, for sure. We'll pull this in uh, Grayson's gas station here. Hey, when we're done, are we going to head over to the diner? I'm down to go to the diner. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave that thing running because that sounds good. And it looks good, too. Go. Here comes Garrett. All right. You going to get me connected? Yep. I'll get you lined up here. So this might be a little advantage. There's a little more rubber on the road for this, but uh, we'll see. We are. It's not too scientific. We're just trying out some modded semi-trucks and see what they can do with Five Demco side dumps. All right. There you go. You look good. Perfect. All right. And I'll let you take the wheel. Well, here we go. Let's get first gear and we'll rev her out. Take her off. There we go. That was a lot better. Shift into second. Oh, the third. Now, question for you. Compare this to the Peter's startup. Which one do you uh, think is doing better? I don't know because technically I'm, I'm uh, shifting manually. And then that was automatic, so I mean I don't oh, know. Now true. I'm rolling pretty good here, but I don't know. It's pretty hard to tough. Or pretty hard to tell, but I tell you what, let's we'll we'll run uh let's get the Peterbilt and and I think we'll 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 make like a huge ramp in this field and then pretty much just ramp it up to finish off the video so you guys can see how high they can make it up and and do the Peterbilt's like or do the semi spin out and then do the can they get traction? And maybe maybe they only make it to the hill and they'll spin out in the in the field. So we'll see. Well, we made the ramp and uh, we were kind of just messing around with the sculpting tool, trying to make the best ramp we possibly could. There she is, well, Garrett. We got a name for him. For the ramp. Uh, the name's called Good Luck. Here, because real quick, you'll need are these it. signs? Uh, do they have collisions? Uh, I hope not. I have no clue. Yeah, that's one thing I'm through? a little worried about. Okay, they do have collisions. Hey, what about that uh, tractor sign right there? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if that has a collision because what I'm okay. This nice. Doesn't. Nice. Okay. What I was worried about is making the turn a few times in my career. I have uh, had to make big turns like this before and these actually track. I think a lot. Yeah, they track really good. So not oh, too yeah, big sure. a concern, but here I'm hammering it down, man. 
All right, I see them all articulating. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, we're about to start the climb. This is steep. I don't know what percent slope it is. Here we go. 25 mile an hour, man. 24. She's starting to slow down. Already? Yeah, you Better can tell. Ways to go. All the weight is oh. now on the grade. There, there you go. What's your speed? What's your speed? 10 mile an hour, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're spinning. Push, we're, push. 4, 3, 2. No, I'm don't push. Trying. Don't push. I, I, I want to see. Okay, okay. I want to see if I start rolling back. All right, can I hit... Can I hit the brakes? Oh no, there aren't there aren't any brakes, man. You need a parking brake, man. I'm coming down, whether I like it or not. Oh no. Headed back to that thing up straight. Come on. And you made it up like two feet. Well, like your front end's pretty far, but yeah. back end is. When all the weight came on here, yeah, she noticed it. Yeah. Here, I wonder if I. What happens if I detach? You're gonna roll. Oh, they stay still. You know what? Come get uh, come get, bring your western star. Yeah, bring the western star over here and then we'll see if it can the only problem is there's no no there's no momentum so i don't know if it'll have the traction well we got an extra set of tires so maybe there you go is it even gonna make it up here uh, i don't know it is gaining speed there okay. we go okay nice so we will uh yeah we'll see we'll get hooked up here this is pretty much just a crazy test that we're gonna do if you guys want to see more crazy crazy videos like this where we like test different things I kind of wanted to see how these did on grade and then like it was spinning and stuff one thing we could have done is maybe try different uh like in a field that was just plowed or something like that there you go Garrett you're almost attached but heck let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next there's probably so many things we can test out in FS22 to see like hey is that realistic does that work do the tires like you know the weight actually adds weight where in fs 17 and 19 it didn't seem as much so all right here we go first gear this is one that has a manual so a little different than the peterbilt peterbilt's a little easier for me oh okay oh no this Come is on. i'm gonna try and shift up man there I'm you go just keep trying keep sixth trying gear. yeah no oh I mean, your trailer's tilting realistically I, I would never shift up but yeah this yeah. is a good garrett now what if we start back on the ground and you try going from the start Think we're never gonna get back on the ground we don't we'll We'll have to restart the whole thing. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, yeah, I don't know what truck technically did better. The Peel Bull or the Western Star. But they both did better than the Mac. So pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you all in the next one.